are live. I think we are live. I hope you guys hear me well, the video and the audio. So I'm just waiting a couple of minutes to see if someone is joining this live. And I'm starting to have some notifications of me online. And yeah, it's going to be cool. So we try to authenticate with Chrome and the MetaMask Chrome extension and get GWT tokens. So we are just going to do that. Okay, so I want to share maybe my screen. I'm just waiting a couple of minutes and Who is going to join this live? Okay, I'm getting a few issues to share my screen. Someone has changed in that. Okay, I think I'm good and I am sharing this. Sorry guys, sorry guys for uh, that you're waiting for that and Okay, I hope you see my terminal well. Nobody has joined the live. I hope I catch catch a new uh, a good title for this stream. All right, let's go ahead and create simple uh, React app. So I'm on my desktop, and I want to type npx create React app. Uh, I want to call it a MetaMask token for this example and uh you want to put me on my left on the left yeah right here not maybe it's a good one though and if you go on the web3 token project on github by its bay uh we just have to copy these npm install command with two dependencies so we the metamask and install it terminal a bit command key install it oh there is one seeing a live hello hello alone guy <laughs> any left all right okay just uh trying to start for react application and also uh you have to install metamask uh, for uh, your chrome as an extension so uh you can just type metamask and you install it for chrome and you create an account so um make sure you create an account and if you don't have an account maybe stop the the live that you will see uh the time of recording and install metamask uh so I already did some tests, so I want to disconnect this. 
So we don't have any kind of uh, applications. I also I only have my account created, but not applications connected. So the aim is to connect this application and have uh, a JWT uh, token receiving in a kind of console right here. So like we were using JSON web token that you perfectly know and you surely have used before yeah, Node.js application and today you're still using uh, in project uh, with server side using JSON web token. So uh, I didn't open my application yet in a terminal. Uh, we want to zoom a little bit and just it bigger. And uh, is someone live? Yes, there is one people. Hello. Uh, so what do we have here? <clears throat> uh, what we are going to do, uh, you know, instead of we get rid of this and just Okay, the tab space doesn't work in app.js if it's not TypeScript. script. Just render a button. And here I should start the server. And uh, we have to create an async function. So like const test equal async. And what am I doing? Better, really, really better. Hello, two people on live. This is cool. I'm not feeling alone anymore. Okay, uh, we have to import Web3 and Web3 token. So import Web3 from and port free token from free token and in this simple test function async uh let's create a new web3 Uh, this will be the new three instance and window dot area all metamask and then we await uh, window dot ethereum i want to make a request uh, this will be a method of h underscore someone is in the live just switch to this okay one people again uh, so this is like request it's... I want to listen to our account that we created in web web in metamask so let's create a your address variable it will be equal to wait web3 th counts And finally, with a token variable, the await, choose the Web3 token, that sign, uh, Web3 token, did I import it? 
Message. Web three. Ph. Personal that. Sign method here. As the message. Your address, uh, we have to pass three parameters, I think, and send the string. And day for the expiration date. And uh, yeah, we can console log. Like created. And E dress B so you equal to a weight. Three token to verify the token. And console log. Press record. The address and the the body. So let's call the function of the look on live here. Uh, so the button will be on click. Call the test function. So what do we have maybe here? I should write something. Clean everything and okay, so just again. I click on test a MetaMask is going to open in the pop-up and we click on next we should connect localhost we're connecting and magic so we have created the token and we have also the expiration date uh, this will be for 28 november so it lasts one day and uh, the expression that we have put it here. So uh, Web3 token version one, so we are using this library. Oh, so we have this token and simple. Uh, it's less code than uh, creating Node.js server with JSON web token. So that's it. Uh, just well, I'm going to wait maybe one minute before ending this quick live and i hope you will see a good quality uh, for the streaming for the recording video that i will uh, leave on my youtube channel okay i think uh, so just for recap we have created a simple react application install web3 and web3 token uh, maybe let's just see um, npm js registry uh, Ethereum JavaScript API if it's maintained like perfect 12 days ago and let's also check web3 
A month ago. Yeah, and this is the page that I had opened here. Where is it? So here. You have other example with uh, with the Ethers library on or the server side uh, example, so you can play with it. And uh, that's it. Uh, so thank you guys for have joined this uh, this live. And I want to stop sharing my screen. And this was a quick Saturday live. So I wish you guys a fantastic uh, rest of the day and uh, we will catch you in the next video.